This morning, we're getting an inside look. Uh, we're switching gears here a little bit, speaking of bicycle metaphors. To, uh, we're getting an inside look at an unprecedented coronavirus study. A tiny town near Venice, Italy, has become a living laboratory. It's where the country's first coronavirus victim was from. 60 and 6 correspondent Seth Doan shows us how the town immediately sealed itself off and has tested nearly everyone for COVID-19 at least three times. 60 and 6 features 60 minute style storytelling in around six minute episodes. It airs on the streaming app Quibi and is produced by CBS News, which is part of Viacom CBS and investor in Quibi. Take a look. Wincing their way through test after test, nearly every resident in this town of 3300 is voluntarily enduring a little discomfort to take part in something unprecedented. I think it was an incredible testimony of uh, trust in science and society. The soft-spoken virologist, Dr. Andrea Crisanti, has become an unlikely hero here since he started studying the town of Vaux. What's unique here is that Dr. Crisanti has been testing Vaux's residents for COVID-19 repeatedly since the beginning of the epidemic. He says this is the most well-studied community in the world. And Seth Doan joins us now from, from Rome. Good morning, Seth. The three tests per, per citizen of that city is really remarkable. What can we learn from Vo? Really remarkable and, Anthony, a little uncomfortable, as you can see those people yes. kind of wincing. But we've learned a remarkable amount from, from this small town of about 3,000 people. There are concrete scientific findings. One of the early ones, this death, uh, Adriano Trevisan died February 21st, which set into motion what wound up being this kind of grand experiment. So if you think back early February, this was very early on. And one of the first things they discovered was just how many more people had the coronavirus than they initially thought and how many of those people were asymptomatic. Then this virologist who you just, whom you just saw in, in the clip, Dr. Andre Crisanti, he had been uh, on sabbatical. <laughs> Turns out he's on sabbatical from London near this place where there's this huge uh, outbreak in this in this pandemic. And he says, wow, you've created a fantastic, really fascinating setting here where you've tested a cross section of a population. Could we go in there and give all of these people who you've now locked down the military came, they closed the borders, no one was allowed in and out. And they said, OK, look, this place is in essence frozen in time. Could we please do another test and go back? The guy who runs Veneto region, Luca Zaya, said, you're just as crazy as I am trying to test all these people again. But they found the test. Uh, the test was something that the folks in town were willing to do again, and they've done it again. So I can't tell you everything they found, but they've given a blood test. Uh, you have to watch the piece. But they're finding remarkable things about antibodies, and they're trying yeah. to build a genetic map of this town now because they know the transmission chain. Vo was locked down, Seth, about, about two weeks before the rest of the country. I mean, can, can you give us, first of all, how are they able to test everybody three times? Well, they said they, they, they act, I mean, Chrysanthi's lab at the University of Padua, which is one of the most prestigious institutions, has a robust hospital there. They're now able to do around 5,000 tests a day. So one of the interesting things we actually don't talk about in the story, because there just wasn't time, was he, before we went into Vaux and before we met him and came into the lab, he said, I want you all, you and your crew, the people at camera crew that I was with, to also be tested. We've got to be very careful about transmission and who comes and who goes. We were all... Uh, a negative and we tested again coming out so he has frankly the capability to do these tests and he said let's raise the money to do this again and we'll ask for volunteers and nearly everyone in town turned out for all of these tests and the most interesting one in many ways was the third test which not only was a covid test that that swab that you see, that uncomfortable swab, but also a blood test to check for antibodies and to build this genetic map. And even kids turned out for this for this blood test. Italy has dramatically uh, decreased the number of cases. At, I mean, to what degree did Vo play a role in sort of the way the country responded? 
Well, in many ways, Anthony, this was a model. It's been written up even in The Lancet, a very prestigious medical journal. The approach there in Vaux was directed by this Luca Zaya from the far-right League Party who has some scientific background. He studied medicine. He said, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I did study viruses, and I know you have to isolate viruses to fight them. So they were very good at locking down and testing. And compared with Lombardy, which look much more at strengthening hospitals, the, the approach of, of testing in Veneto worked. All right, Seth Doan in Rome for us this morning. Seth, thank you very much. You can watch Seth's 60 in 6 story today on the mobile streaming app, Quibi.